Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more classic WoW. We're currently staying at level 6 right now. We're going for level 10 today. And would you look at all these people? It's so nice to see people in leveling zones. On live WoW, you will literally never see anybody. You might see one person and I guarantee that one person is like a bot. 100%. That one person is on a buddy doing what he does best. And that is leveling. Also, in my last video, I forgot to go ahead and equip my powered shield. So we'll go ahead and bang that on our bars. Very, very nice. It tells us here it absorbs 44 damage, but it doesn't tell us on the buff. I have 157 HP. So that's a pretty good shield. Anyway, let's get on with some leveling. We have a ton of quests at war with the Scarlet Crusade. So we'll go ahead and tick all of these, actually. We never handed this quest in. Now, it says we have to hand it in at a tavern. So we need to find the tavern. But I'm guessing it's going to be back in that direction anyway. So we'll find that in a bit. So let's go ahead down towards where we need to kill the Scarlet Crusaders which I think is in this direction. I could be wrong. Let me go ahead and read it just in case. So it says we need to travel west to the tower past the Solidan farmstead and slay 10 Scarlet Warriors. So this is west and um, we have to go past that farm again. What I might do too on the way down there, yeah, I'm definitely going to go do it. I'm going to go unlock tailoring because I remember there was a tailoring guy in this little tavern down here and I never picked it up, but I think it'll be a good thing to pick up early game. Tailoring and enchanting really go hand in hand. So if we can pick up enchanting too, then that'll be fucking sick. Cold Hearth Manor. Here we go, boys. Picking my first profession up. Hello there. Thank you very much. Ooh, we could learn all of this, but I don't really have the money to be start learning things. I know, in fact, we can't learn all of this. What am I about? We can learn the white shirt, and that's about it. Ooh, Gordo gives us a quest too. That's nice. He probably wants us to kill some mobs around here. Guarantee it. Oh, it's the Gloomweed quest. No. It's okay, because Gloomweed spawns everywhere. We'll look out for it anyway, because I think it can just literally be scattered anywhere. But we're going to head over in this direction, because we need to go and kill the Scarlet Crusaders, and we need to kill some of these Dark Hounds too, because... We need to get their blood. And I know that the Dark Hound quest can be a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Okay, so this is the farm. And we need to head to like this little castle on the map. So we might actually just be better following the road over here. Because I think the road actually takes us straight to the castle. No point running through the farm and pulling a ton of mobs. Look at this guy here. Vile Priest. Why did you die, bro? You're not meant to die. You're meant to survive. Not a single death yet. Just want to tell you guys that, you know. Pointing that out. I see a ton of dead people. Look at that corpse of this guy, corpse of that guy. There's a dead guy there. Fucking, there's so many people that die. Like, how do you die? It's crazy. Hey, I'm getting help from somebody. I'm getting help from an imp. Feels good, man. I'll give you a buff for that. You're welcome. Nice. So we killed one of the Scarlet Warriors. That's good. And we got a Scarlet Ring. So I guess we don't have to go all the way over to the castle. You could actually just chill around here and kill them. I might actually try inviting him to a group because we're on the same quest. We might as well be in the same group. Yeah, and there's going to be a few people down here pulling mobs too. Not as many as earlier, which is nice. We need to collect as much linen cloth as we can too because we're going to be needing it for tailoring. Now, I think sometimes a few of them spawn up here. I'm not going to get that tag, am I? I'm not going to get it. Run, 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 run. Do damage. Yes, I got the tag. Thank God for that. I had to kite the mob away from that guy before he could hit it. Because Shadow Head Pain doesn't do instant damage, which is a pain in the ass. Anyway, these guys are probably going to steal the tags up here now. Shit. Oh, he doesn't want a all, does he? Give me this one. Give me this one. Let me get this one. Nice. Don't die, bro. I'll give you a shield. This priest gave me a shield, the legend. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Level 8 priest gave me a shield. Didn't get any rings off those guys, though. Feels bad, man. Later. Are we going to get a ring from this Scarlet Warrior? Nope. We need one more ring, please. I've been here for about 15 minutes now trying to collect these fucking rings. It's taking so long. Let's go back up into the castle because this seems like to be the uh, the best spawn point for these guys. Like three of them spawn upstairs, two of them spawn on the steps, and one of them spawns downstairs. But I can't kill them all because I don't really have the mana to do it. And then I have to keep running out. As you've seen on the video, if you watched the time lapse footage, I need to kill this guy quick before they spawn on top of me though. One's already spawned there, so I mean, we should definitely, oh my God, I pulled it. And there's one there. Please, someone tag. I can't speak it to people either because I'm too low level it says but like there's literally a free guy there that somebody could tag I've not tagged it oh no fucking rings either fuck's sake guys if this guy this guy is not going to kill me I am going to kill this guy and if it comes to it I will run 
Literally, you're just standing there watching me die. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Really fucking appreciate it. I've got my quest. I am. I'm fucking out of here. My lesser heal, by the way, guys, heals me for a ton. Like half my HP. Literally half my HP that he heals for. And that's the lower rank. I'm not even using rank 2 yet. Which would which would probably heal me to full. I'm using rank 1 because it's a uh, fast cast time. And powered shield has saved me a few times already. I'm not going to include the full time lapse footage because it's actually super long to cut down. And you can only like time lapse it so fast. So anyway, we've completed these two quests now. So we could hand those in. But we need to find out where to hand this quest in. Fields of Grief. Take the laced pumpkin to the captured Scarlet Zealot who is being held in the cellar of Gallows End Tavern. Let's go see if one of these is uh, Gallows End tavern i think it might be that little house there i'm not too sure though there's no signs that i can actually see but we can have a look inside anywhere or we might have to go into this like little farm house slash barn i'm gonna head back to brill and on the way back we can maybe kill some mobs oh there's a little bit of gloom weed yay just what we actually need very nice oh there's a dark hound there too it's a level five too so it should be easier to kill i think we are level seven now we got a level earlier, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we're back in Brill. I'm going to hand these two quests in and then see if they give me any more quests to do. And then we can just continue with the rest of them. Great, it's giving me another quest. Add war with the Scarlet Crusade. Guarantee I've got to go all the way back there to kill the big bad boss. Ooh, we get some hands off these. Nice. Should help us out a little bit. Okay, so let me have a look at this quest. Execute Zygand in Brill wants you to kill. Execute Zygand wants you to kill. Captain Perrine, free Scarlet Zealots. And free Scarlet Miss. So we gotta go all the way back over there, basically. Okay, so this quest basically wants us to go all the way back over to where we've just come from. Nice. Damn, look at this. You've got rough arrows for the hunters. You've got light shot arrows. You've got small throwing knives. Crude throwing axes. This is fucking cool. You've got throwing daggers. Throw. Oh my god. That's cool as fuck. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a leather satchel, which is an eight slot bag. Oh shit, I can't afford it. Let's just buy the six slot one then, because I feel like I need an extra bag. Go ahead and equip this. Nice. So our bags are a little bit bigger now. We've got a little bit more room to work with. I guess we have to walk all the way back down there again, so I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I was just reading this quest before I went down, and it says the tower is southwest of Brill. Now, the quest earlier said that the place where we needed to go was west, not southwest. So if we're going southwest, there should be a tower somewhere down here. Let's just head down here and see if there is anything. We can always kill the dark hounds on the way. Okay, so this looks like this is the place. Well, I think this is the place anyway. It's a ruined tower, which it did say here. Ruined tower southwest of Brill. I'm glad I read that it said southwest because I was actually going to head west and go all the way over here. I thought maybe the boss would actually spawn in the tower now. But it turns out we got to go up to the top of this tower and kill a guy. But this, he seems to be waiting down here. So I think he just spawns on the bottom floor. Yeah, he spawns on the bottom floor 100%. I mean, you can't exactly walk up there, can you? Anyway, at least we're in the right place. And I didn't walk all the way to the other fucking tower. That would have been a face palm. Not too many people here. Seems to be a lot of fucking dead bodies though. Maybe these guys hit a little bit harder. Than the others. They're level 9s too and I'm only, I'm only level 7 so might take a little bit longer to kill these guys and I might need to use a little bit more mana to heal myself but we'll see. We'll see. We'll be fine. We're a goddamn fucking shadow priest. We got this in the bag. Okay this is actually a level 9 mob and it doesn't seem to be taking too much damage off my level 2 smite so this might take a while. They definitely hit harder. We'll be fine though. We'll be fine. I think I just gotta kill these guys too. I don't have to loot anything. So that's a bonus because if I had to loot things, then this quest could turn into like a 20 minute quest. Just because I'm never lucky. Never lucky. Yeah, I got the tag before the warlock even though he died it first. Great. And he's still attacking it. He doesn't even know. Is he going to spit on me? He's not happy. He's not happy. I love that. Everybody's li Everybody presses their dots first and then they never get the tag. That's why I just hard cast smites into everything I see. I'm nearly out of mana and this guy's still got quite a bit of HP. Okay then. I'd ask for help from somebody but I can't talk in chat just yet because I'm not allowed. He's gonna hit me. Powered shield. Oh my god. 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 Please, 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 please. Okay. First death. Ran out of mana. Oh, damn. We, we're, we're in the undersea section. Oh, and I got the mob slain because somebody else killed it for me. So the tag was still mine. What the fuck? 
That's crazy. Let's do the walk of shame all the way back. I'll be 100% honest. I got no fucking idea how to get out of this place. Do we go under here? Is this the way out? I have, I have no idea. I feel like this is going to go down. That goes down into undersea, right? Yeah, that goes down into undersea. How the fuck do I get out? This place is gonna be like a fucking maze. I think this is the way out. Please be the way out. Please. Hey, let's go. Okay, hopefully we don't die again. Literally died because I ran out of mana. Feels fucking bad, man. And I committed to a smite instead of a powered shield. That's another reason why I died. I'm gonna eat and drink before I attack this guy. I don't wanna die again. Not today, boys. Not today. Oh, look at that. We got some legs. We got some new hands. Oh my god, those hands are actually better than mine. By one armor damn and we got some male legs bind when equipped maybe somebody wants those i know i definitely can't use them so maybe somebody else can have them i will trade if i find somebody who could use them we need to sit in here now to try find this prince and kill him we need to attack him fast we might be better joining a group let's get to inviting people oh he's already in a group i still can't speak to anybody yet because i'm too low level fuck <laughs> Okay, so we just managed to kill that guy. Now we need to go find the missionaries, which I think are rogues. So might be a little bit harder to find. Let's just go have a look around here real quick to see if there is any. They're all zealots around here. So where will the missionaries be? This guy just killed a missionary down here. So I'm guessing they just spawn further out of the camp. Oh no, they actually spawn behind here. There's two now. So I guess we just gotta chill on the outsides to find some. <laughs> Fuck, this guy here literally just gave me a cloth chest with two spirit. So we got upgrades. We got a chest with two spirit on, which is nice because I feel like we need spirit at the moment. We also found a small red pouch from one of these Scarlet Zealots. We best kill this guy real quick before he fucks us up. I feel like if we just run away, he's going to fuck us up. That's going to be bad. Finding that small red pouch is pretty decent. Increase the target spirit by three for 30 minutes. I'm going to keep that scroll. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, and we got Dark on blood look at that we're getting shit done okay so let's just do like a quick update what we gotta do we got a putrid task bring seven putrid claws to the death guard dillinger okay so i don't think this quest is near here this quest is just all over and this quest is just all over so where's this quest oh uh, this quest is by Gordo. oh we leveled look at that from from we leveled from discovering runes of Lordaeron. Let's go. Mate, I am happy right now. Super happy. I also found a minor healing potion off a mob. So I thought I'd go ahead and equip that on my bars just so I don't forget about it because I really don't plan on dying again. Like, I, that, that isn't in the cards. I'm not going to die again. One death is, is enough for me. Can't believe I died like that. It was actually disgusting. Anyways... We live and learn. We move on. Gonna head back towards Brill because I don't... Where's the bridge? The bridge for this quest, I think, is literally where Gordo is. We need to go back to where Gordo is, and I think that's where it is. We're in the right spot. I killed one of these zombies, and they give the putrid claws, so we just need to kill a bunch more of them. The good thing is they're only, like, level 6. We're, like, level 8 now. The mobs that we was killing earlier was, like, level 9, so these guys being level 6, we really shouldn't die, and we should kill them a lot faster than we was killing the other guys. But it's one of those looting quests, so, I mean, we could be here for 20 minutes easily, just trying to get the loot off these guys. We might not get lucky. We might just fail miserably and not get any loot. That would be feels bad, man. Hey, we got a putrid claw. These putrid claws are actually dropping pretty nice. I've killed like six mobs and I've got three claws. So I guess that's not too bad. Just gotta keep killing. We need to go check to see if we've unlocked any new spells too the next time we go back to Brill. Because I think we've gained like two or three levels since we last checked. So I definitely need to go check again. Oh my god, we got some refreshing spring water. It's very nice. Yeah, I'll give you guys a tip for killing these. If you attack them and dot him, and then just drag him over to this guard. He'll fuck it up for you. Easy. I don't know if it's the rotting dead that we need to be killing or the ravaged corpse. So far, I've been getting 
claws off the rotting dead, so I'll keep attacking these ones. I don't know if the ravaged ones give anything, though. I mean, they probably do. Yo, I was chilling in this area, and then, like, a ton of people have just turned up. Feels fucking bad, man. Gonna make the quest even longer. We only need, like, fucking three more. I actually fucking hate these quests, just because the, the, the drop chance is actually dog shit. I seem to kill so many fucking mobs and just nothing drops. That's probably why these guys are, like, level 12 and 11, and they're still doing these quests, because their drop chance is fucking worse than mine, and mine's the worst it can ever be. Oh my fucking god, please, can somebody drop a fucking claw, please? Oh my god, I got two of them on me. That's not good. No, three of them? Fuck me sideways. I need help. Oh, I might die. I might die. Actually, we might be able to kill this guy. I'm gonna use one of my heals. Lesser heal. Come on, baby. Nice. I'm gonna take them over to my guy. Come and help me. Death guard. Slay them all. Easy. I think when the death guard slays them, you don't get any loot. I think that might be a thing. Even this guy in chat knows so many people here. Exactly, man. They're all fucking stealing the kills. Feels bad, man. I still don't know if it's the ravaged corpses or the fucking, the, the rotting corpses that I need to be killing. I mean, they probably both drop, so... We'll see. When they fucking resist your smite that you just casted for like three seconds. Wow. Oh, god damn, look at that. We got a scroll of protection. Increase the armor by 60. I'ma pop that. Let's go. 60 plus armor, boys. Easy peasy. This quest is already turning into a 20 minute quest, like I said. I've been here 10 minutes now. Like, the first three to four were Gucci. And now these are just like, oh my god. I've killed like... Maybe 15 mobs are not a single drop. Feels bad, man. Hey, two more, two more. No, no, no. This guy here, this guy here. He's my guy. This guy knows me. He knows how long I've been here because I've killed him about fucking 30 times now. He's sick of being spawn camped. Give me one claw, bro, and I'll be out your hair. I'll be gone forever. <gasps> Look at it. Nice. Okay, right. We can go back to Brill now, hand these quests in, and we should be good. One, two, three. Three quests, and we've nearly completed this one, actually. We just need one more veil of blood, and we need two gloomweed. Damn, son. That'd be so many quests complete. What about this guy here? Imagine if he just gives me one veil right now. How lucky would that be? Come on, bro. I believe in you. It's good doink. And I got a bit of stingy me. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I decided before handing all the quests in, I might as well just finish the last two, or at least the dark on one. I might not do the gloomweed one because, I mean, the gloomweed one can be anywhere and I feel like I'm gonna struggle to find gloomweed so I thought I'd just travel over the mountain and try kill a few of these guys before I go back to Brill to hand the rest of the quests in we're probably gonna level when we hand them in we're halfway through this level just from killing mobs so we should get a level hopefully for you guys that aren't playing classic wow and are watching this video I'll give you a quick example of how AIDS this is I've got four out of five dark hound blood veils okay I've just killed six of the dark hounds and not got a single veil. Let's see how many we have to kill. We've killed six so far. I mean, to be honest, it might even be seven. Let's see if this guy gives us one. Is he gonna drop it? Nope. Number eight incoming. Let's see if he's gonna drop me one, please. Hey, let's go. So I had to kill eight of these guys just to get one veil of blood. That's a GG right there. And I probably got lucky with that, like killing eight. That, I guess that's not so bad. Anyways, let's go hand these quests in and let's see if we get a level. Putrid task. Thank you very very much. Dark Hound Blood, let's hand this in, and we get Weak Trolls Blood Potion. Use regenerates two health every five seconds for one hour. Damn, son, and we got three of those. Nice. I'll probably use those the next time I log online. Ooh, this guy wants five vile fin skills from the Murloc, so we gotta go down to the Murlocs. I can see the Murloc quests being kind of aids because there's so many of them, but it might not be that bad because there's actually that many players at the moment. I, it, it won't be too bad. Getting a bunch of new quests and they all seem pretty easy and I, I sort of know where they are off the top of my head so it's not gonna be too bad okay we're backing the mill oh my god it looks so nice in here so bright I like it this guy's got two quests for me too so that's nice we're gonna have a bunch of fucking quests to do now for the next episode feels good man okay so that's all the quests handed in and we got like a bunch of quests now deaths in the family this is red so it might be a little bit hard for us we might need to gain a few more levels first still not too sure where to hand this in take the laced pumpkin in the captured scarlet zealot who is being held in the cellar of the garrows and tavern i mean i could just wowhead it but i honestly don't wanna i feel like that takes a lot of the fun out of it like, i could just go on wowhead type it in and i'd know where to go i'm not gonna do that though because i feel like it's gonna take a lot of the fun out of the game i'd rather just like walk around and explore and try find a tavern oh there's a question in here i never even saw it yeah i feel like it'd be so much cooler if i was just like walking about doing a quest and then i see like a house over there 
and it's got a cellar and that's where my quest is and I find it that'd be so fucking cool bring five dusk bat pelts Damn, we probably could have done that quest while we was doing the other ones. It didn't show my map though for some reason when I was in this house. That was a little bit dodgy. Anyway, let's see what this guy's got for us. You got any spells for me, bruh? Nah, requires level 12. Everything requires level 12. Oh no, I lie. I've actually got two new spells. Heals the target with 45 damage over 15 seconds. And we've got Fade, which just drops fret. Learn both of these. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Go ahead and equip my renew because that's really going to help me a ton. Man, I'm going to use so much mana now, like having to press renew, powered shield, smite, shadow of pain. I'm actually just going to go through mana like it's nothing. Anyway, guys, we nearly got a level. That was pretty nice. We need two more bars to get a level and then we will be level nine, which will be pretty solid. Go ahead, hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode today. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.